But I think the biggest thing is learning how to hear yourself and trust yourself. I really believe that. Um, there was a moment how do, you where, how do you define that that as a term? Because I view that as self-belief and confidence and optimism. I'm just, I think that yeah. you're such a, you know, very quickly I'm like, oh, she, okay, this is a, this is my sister. Like literally within the first three seconds, yeah. I'm like, oh, I see, oh, I see. So I just, what yeah, I'm trying yeah, yeah. to do, and I apologize because I want, I'm hoping a different voice might do this for the listener. I'm trying to figure out what words you use to quantify. Yeah. I, I fully agree with you, everything you're saying. I, I'm wondering if you view optimism as, so I think optimism, similar to what we were talking about earlier, sometimes gets pegged as delusion. Mm, yeah. And okay, I've been thinking I got about, you. you see where I'm going? Because I could almost yep. feel you doing that right now. And I'm like, I get you, yep. sister. Because like, like this isn't why I, like, it's so great. Wordsmithing matters, right? Like, for example, hustle has gotten demonized as like burnout. So I no longer use it. Because mm. I don't need it. You know what I'm going to call it? Work ethic. Call it what you want. Here's what yeah. I can tell you. For all the belief you had and all the love you had, in yeah. doing what you were doing, I'm a pretty confident, based on your outcome, that there was a lot of work ethic there. And so whatever you wanna call it, and sometimes I just think about, I know the word hustle triggers people, so I use the word work ethic now, because I don't wanna ever not let anybody who cares to listen to me not realize that if you don't put in the work, it yeah. is impossible. Thoughts on that? Yeah, I agree with that, and I just had a big aha moment that what you're saying is optimism. I a billion percent agree with, and I, I, I'm i thinking of that right now as belief. Um, right. Same thing, yep, that. and now I'm right there with you. Like, here's the thing, when, when and then I wanna share one quick story with you too that, I, that hopefully someone listening right now maybe needs to hear, but I mean, when I look back, it's like when people are like, oh, how did you start with close to nothing and build a billion dollar company? It's like, yeah, I got, you know, I got back up every time I got knocked down and I followed my gut and I worked really, really hard. Uh, but I do think that one of the most important things I did was just like how to build a billion dollar company from nothing. Like I think one of the most important things is making that decision to believe that you can. Yes. And for me, that that's optimism, exactly what you're saying. And I, and I guess I call it belief. So yeah, a million percent with that. Um, and one more thing just on maybe people listening to us right now that are like, oh, Gary, like Jamie, I, you know, I trust my gut sometimes and it's wrong or I tried it once and it didn't work or I don't know how, you know, don't know how to hear my own intuition. I just want to say, I think that it is a muscle that we can all build. And I think people have to give themselves grace, right? It's almost, it reminds me of like, when you start to meditate, a lot of people try it and they can't do it. They're like, they go through their to-do list in their head the whole time they're trying to meditate. Or, but you have to like give yourself grace and start. And you know, what I would say, uh, whether it's entrepreneurs or someone who's 14 years old and out there dating right now, I would say when you start to look back at your experiences and think about moments when you had a gut feeling and you didn't follow it, like we've all dated like a sketchy guy or, ske <laughs> like a, or had a, <laughs> and like, you're like, you know, his phone didn't really just, just like shut off for three days or he didn't lose the phone. He was right. like, you know, and then you kind of make that decision of like, you, okay. You 